Hello, gentle viewers. This is Zav Guardian, welcoming you back to Out of the Park Baseball 24 with the NC Dinos in the Korean Baseball Organization. So, first of all, I hope you've had a lovely couple of weeks. Um, or rather, a lovely few days. I was actually out of town um, for three days, and so I actually recorded uh friday's video like a week before um so i didn't get a chance to see any of your wonderful comments so if you made any i didn't see them i apologize for that uh but we're back with all new baseball episodes all new baseball action however i want to take a moment to talk about what's going to happen next with this series um i need to quickly check the voting actually so if you're a fan of my channel and you subscribe, you get access to my community posts. One of the things I do with the community posts is I have polls that you can vote in and help me decide what I'm going to do in the future. So um, I posted a poll. It's so far at 14 votes and most people prefer one of the options that I had uh, considered. Um, but I do get a chance to vote some more. Um, I don't want to make a decision just yet. I'd like to get about 20 votes, but if I don't get any, it's only been up for a week. Um, if I don't get any in the next few days, uh, then I will just decide from there. So this is a message to you. If you are subscribed to the channel, you would like to vote, please vote. If you want to subscribe to the channel so that you can vote, do that too. Uh, it really helps me out. So, um, I'll just quickly say the two options that are coming up. Um, and that'll help you decide what you might want to vote for. So the first option is the history of baseball, but we're using the Negro Leagues. Um, I believe, and I'll have to double check this, that OTP contains all the data for Negro Leaguers beginning in 1920. So we basically start with the Major League team in 1920 with some color barrier and see what happens as these players get added to do the game. Ideally through the draft. Um, just because if you make it through free agency... It just feels weird. Um, I want everyone to get a chance to have access to these amazing players and see how they grow. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for. If that doesn't work, um, my second plan is to do a modern baseball league with historical players by having random rookies from every conceivable area, including the Negro Leagues. Let's just get fucking weird. Have, like, Babe Ruth playing alongside Steve Carlton. Uh, maybe Bob Gibson gets to thrill, gets to drill. Uh, I'm trying to think he's a real asshole. Ty Cobb. There you go. That would be entertainment, for sure. Bob Gibson versus Ty Cobb. Mm. Who wouldn't want to see that? I know I would. So that's kind of what I'm thinking as the alternate to that option. That still counts as one option, though. What I want to see Negro Leagues players in a position where they can play in the majors earlier. That's my objective. How we get there, it's going to depend on some testing and what works, what doesn't work. The other actual option is a modern MLB run where I don't trade at all. I am forbidden from making a single trade. I can use free agency, I can use the draft, I can use the Rule 5 draft. I can do anything I want to to make the team as great as I can but I'm not allowed to trade. Uh, frankly, that sounds awful, but also kind of fun. And to be clear, the AI can trade as much as I want. I cannot trade. So I'm gonna be really interested to see what people think about that option too. Um, a commenter a long time ago recommended it, and it sounded as like a huge amount of fun. It could also be very frustrating, but Anyway, those are the two options that I have in the poll. So if you want to vote in the poll, jump on over to the community page uh, and make your voices heard. It should be a great time. Now, back to this series. So my goal for this series was to win a championship. We came oh so very close last season. We literally lost game seven in extra innings, which gives me painful memories, you fucking jackass game. I remember 2016. Don't do that to me again, please. Um, 
Oh god, was there even a rain delay? Please don't look. Please don't tell me there's a rain delay too. Was there a rain delay? There was a rain delay in the eighth inning. Wow, this is starting to feel personal. It's starting to feel really personal. I can't remember when the the rain delay in Game Seven was in uh, in twenty sixteen, but I think it might have been the eighth inning. Uh, let's see. World Series Game 7 2016 Rain Delay. Oh, uh, after the ninth inning. It was right before they won an extra innings. That's right. I watched every second of that game. Oh my god. It went from sheer joy to utter disappointment. And the fact that Webb is a Cubs fan. Mm. We're not going to talk about it. Still too fresh. Still too fresh. I've seen three World Series attempts by the Cleveland baseball team in my lifetime, and they've all lost. Um, it's not as bad as say the Buffalo Bills losing four Super Bowls in a row. I mean, the Browns have never gotten there. Although I've been my own opinions about the Browns of late. Uh, apparent. I'm not going to bring that up again. But yes. Um, hey, but the Cavs won in, in 2016, so that was nice. And I also, like most people that are born in Ohio, I have an affinity for the Buckeyes, so they're doing pretty good this year. Anyways, uh, back to actual Korean baseball. I did want to highlight a comment that was really helpful. I know it's been really hard, and I think if you're looking this current now, you can probably guess the problem. Look at here's 5 through 9. Their all last name is Kim. This is obviously incredibly confusing. It's not the game's fault. That's just how Korean names are. Oh, God. And my top three prospects are also all named Kim. Oh, my. Um, I talked about doing nicknames. I might if a player, like, really sticks with me. But I do think we probably need a better solution than that. So, that's the reason why I'm leaning toward ending the series a little sooner than I had planned because I know it can be very confusing to keep track of them. I could also try to review, refer to them a little bit more obliquely. I said like Juwon and Jin Hoon or Hyun Jun or Seong Won or Ji Hu. Is that perfect? No, but it's something, I guess. Uh, so as a reminder, one of the last things that happened toward the end of the season, which we did not expect, is somebody paid the posting fee for what's his face uh what's his name the center fielder oh no that was season before i remember that now so we presently have a fair bit of money to make things happen I'm also going to reduce ticket prices to see if that's going to increase. Uh, so if we do a little bop and bang, it doesn't tell me what have projections. Yeah, we won't until the, the league year rolls over after a uh, free agency is done. So step the first, we want to get a new team trainer. This is an important, important item. I'd love for that team trainer to also be controlling. So I gotta be realistic with you. Chase O2 is actually a fairly good choice. He's certainly not perfect, but he's yellow to green and everything, and he's really good at running arm injuries, which should hopefully help keep our pitching staff alive. That just makes a ton of sense. Done. I'm not gonna overthink that. I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, next arbitration. We got a lot of people here. So, I could keep Matt Davidson or Freddie Tarnock or both. I'm choosing to do neither one. Tarnock was fine, but he really choked in the postseason. We could have used his help. And he's going to want a lot of money to stay here. Actually, I guess he just wants a very minor raise. Davidson's definitely out, though. Davidson wants a significant raise. I'd rather see there's better foreigners we can add in. All right. So, Yoon, Jung Yong Jun, double J, we could call him maybe. 
like Jeff Jarrett. Uh, sure, maybe we'll start using the nickname. So we call him uh, Double J J E Double F J A Double R E Double T. Um, he's definitely earned himself another year. I'm not gonna hesitate. I don't know what his actual role is gonna be, but he's more than earned another season. Yong Jun Lee did sort of solve his issue and he's got way too much upside to give up on him entirely but he is on the thinnest device because I need him to not fucking walk six batters a game that's ridic uh, Min Kyok Shin actually had a pretty decent season he's not terribly thrilling which, but he's also asking for a very big raise. I think I'm good with this. And unlike the rest of the jerk wads, I will guarantee him a rotation spot because I think he can handle it. Young Wu Shin has way too much upside to give up on him now. I know he hasn't been super productive, but I think he could be. And so I'm not going to refuse to pay him out of the hopes that we'll be saving money. We have plenty of money, right? No, this is the time to make sure we've got the players we want to keep. Zhang Min Yang was fine. I almost think our best course of action is to go ahead and re-sign everyone unless they're deliberately awful and then maybe make some trades once we've settled it out a bit. But I don't want to lose anybody, especially for nothing, if I'm not getting something I'm sure will be a great... Uh, no, actually, that's what I wanted. I just don't want him to get a guaranteed rotation spot. Jimin Choi has... So much possibility. So much. We have to keep him. He's a hard-throwing lefty. And very few things are more valuable in Major League Baseball. And I'm sure it can't be any different in the KBO. A great hard-throwing lefty just changes everything. Jun Yong Choi is, I think, the first one I'm going to obviously give up on. Because he didn't have that great a season. He's a mediocre arm. That does throw kind of hard. But I just don't see the point in paying him when I don't think he offers much. Uh, we can try to get a prospect, but no one's going to give me, give me one. I'm just going to go ahead and not tender him. This guy. Uh, Sim Hyun Han had a really good year with the Rookie League. And a not terrible year with the majors. Mr. Han, you can have one final year of arbitration, but you'd better be special this season. I, I require that from you. Uh, Jae Young Jang is a really hard thrower. But he also has the obvious issue of walking people, too. That's a lot of walks, and it's not likely to get better. I think trading him while he still might have a crumb, a soups on of value, is a reasonably good deal. Is that showing a really good player, which apparently is clearly a, a possibility here? All right, I need pitching talent. Jin Woo Kim. Already throws a 90 plus. He's a lefty. He's got good stuff and control. He's really smart and hardworking. This is just a slam dunk pick. I mean, this guy's amazing too, though. 
Could I get both of them? Could I get you and Yoon-sik Kim? Probably not. But if I can offer you like one of my mid-tier relievers, I think that's just good business. Uh, or I could just give you... No, Kim could transform. I don't, I'm not ready to give up on him yet. What if instead of giving up J. Kim, I give up J. Kim, though? Oh, God. I like seven people who are all named J. Kim. Yikes. We'll pick this guy. It's fine. I don't know why you're so attached to this guy. This is a giant issue that will never get better. So I'm going to complete this trade. That's a tremendous influx of ta young, talented arms for a very reasonable sum I pay. I'm really happy with that trade. Hoon Jong, I think, is someone who is underrated by the engine. He throws super fucking hard with a really great mix of pitches, and he's a lefty. He's a no-brainer in my opinion. I will tolerate walks from a reliever if he brings the rest of the goods, which he did. So, sir, you are a dino once again. We're tear into the competition. Rawr. That's a very unconvincing roar, I'm sorry. Um, my wife is sleeping. I don't want to disturb her. Um, you have an incredible amount of talent. You're an elite pitcher. I'm, I'm keeping you. Uh, I have no reason to give up on you. Your salary domain is entirely reasonable, and I think you're a, a talented enough pitcher that we can give that a shot. Shang Mo Lee is garbage. Um, there's very little to recommend him. If I just made him a left fielder, I guess he'd look slightly better. But then he's a lefty bat who... He's a bat that only has power. Like, it makes him marginally more intriguing, I guess. But... I just don't feel like he's a good value. Was it Jun Ho Lee I was talking about? No, it wasn't Jun Ho Lee. Why did I not re-sign? Oh, because it's... That yeah, it is Jun Ho Lee. No, it's not. Where's the where's the fucking guy? Oh, it was it was Chang Mo Lee. I'm gonna trade him. I don't believe in him at all. And apparently nobody else does either. With that being said, I guess a one year extension is fine. Uh maybe we'll find a spot for him and maybe we won't. Either way. Uh Jun Ho Lee is a year removed from a really great season. Everything about his talent level suggests to me he should be better. However, let's consider a couple of numbers here. First is home runs per nine. His movement isn't stunning. When your movement is lower tier, you're more likely to get your shit hit hard. And let's not forget he gave up more home runs and fewer innings. That is a problem. His walk rate is higher. And his absolute number of walks was only slightly lower. These are both troubling trends for somebody that's already nine that's already 27 i say he's already 96 no that's his number that's his age i feel like giving him another year does make some sense to see if, if we can split the difference but i'm not super pumped by him okay is Kim a top flight catcher? 
He is what he is. He is a roughly league average hitter that adds value defensively. That is a valuable thing to have. And one thing I don't have is a catcher that's ready to challenge him now. So there's realistically a less than zero chance I'm not going to keep him. He's pricey, but he's not so pricey I can't afford him. And he's not so pricey that he's not still a good value. He's not my ideal catcher, but he'll do perfectly fine for now. Similarly... Zhu Hyun Lee offers a very similar package. He's more walks and less pop, but he's still got a nearly league average offense and still played a pretty a pretty solid defensive game. All this is to say both my catchers are returning for a second season. Um that's that's just a fact of life. So Zhang Wan Choi, it's important to know what we got out of him and what we have gotten out of him. This is a man who draws walks. He is an on-base machine. That isn't necessarily what you want from your first baseman. But his skill set really helped set the tone offensively this year. All he's needed is an everyday job. And we haven't given him that. I think this is the year it has to happen. So we're going to hang on to him. We're going to give him a year. Probably as a starting first baseman. And see the magic we can create. Sung Won Kim. Had a pretty okay season. He isn't an amazing catcher or second baseman. He lacks some defensive skill, but what he is is a pretty good hitter at a decent defensive position. The amount of raise is pretty pretty reasonable. Oh, pardon me. So I'm just gonna go out and do it. Zhu Wan Kim is a superstar at this point. He's not a flawless player by any stretch of the imagination, and his power numbers took a big dive this season. The rest of his numbers were reasonably good, but the power disappeared. That's not an encouraging sign. However, I don't have anybody better, and he's a really, really special player. So for now... He was going to make a ton of money. I think he's worth it. I truly believe that he is a valuable piece to this team. Ji Hu Kim is another guy who does what he is meant to do. He is meant to play top level defense, and he has done precisely that. Anybody that I tried to acquire in his place would likely be not as good. If I ask for a five-year deal, you want a lot of money. Not worth it. We'll do a one-year deal, thanks. Uh, that's just silly. I wouldn't do that. Jean-Guc Kim has some potential to him. I don't know what his true upside is, but I think he's a, a valuable enough player that keeping him costs me nothing. Beyond a little bit of cash and possibly a little bit of my sanity, but that's all right. I don't really have much of either. Sajin Cho has turned in nearly identical numbers two seasons in a row. He's only 23. There is no reason not to keep him. Absolutely none. He's a phenomenal player that's asking for a very, very reasonable amount of money. We're in. Done. Han Gyul Park is a frustrating player. 
he's got potential. And he's played exceptionally well in the minor leagues. But one of the reasons we got him is we were promised power with him. In a small sample size, admittedly, so many plate appearances, he had a single extra base hit. Was a homer. I said, "What's about the homer?" That's not good enough. If you're gonna be a power vacuum, I need 300 batting averages. Like it's as simple as that. The thing is, you should not be a power vacuum. Power is one of your calling cards when we drafted you. So... He wants very little money. So I'm going to give it to him. But I'm not happy about that. Like, I'm not happy about his contributions. And I know part of it is arguably playing time understood. But... Uh, Jin Hyun Kim, quite literally, you have me over a barrel. I don't think you're an everyday center fielder. But I don't have a better one either. So you're staying. Now, I reserve the right to make some trades if and when we get some quality players. Omen No is quite literally the heart and soul of this franchise. He is staying a thousand percent. Uh, between him and Cho, say Jin Cho, we have some really good stuff here. Si Wan Park is another kettle of fish. I don't know what to make of him. He's got talent. The man hits doubles. He's got a pretty good on base side, but he hasn't shown it in the majors. Like, a guy with good discipline should not be walking this little. If we look at the standard batting stats here. Less than 10% of your appearances is not great. He's actually trending in the wrong direction. His strikeout percentage is dropping slowly. His isolated power, though, is garbage. I don't need to hit 25 home runs. That's not what I need from him. But I need him to be hitting doubles. And the odd triple. I need to be hitting him... If he gave me 2026, again, I would be slightly okay with that. But even then, my guy has not hit for consistent power since 2025. And especially given the fact we've got a lot of outfielders and can add more of them relatively easily. And we've even got some in the minor leagues that probably need a proper opportunity. I, I just think it's not a great fit to keep him on the roster. And let me be blunt with you. I would not be surprised if this bites us in the butt. I think he is a good player. I need better talent on this team from top to bottom. You're a pretty good second baseman, but I'm not going to invest that much. It's like a too silly. No... Ironically, we get Kunlu Park back. That'd be funny. I could use an elite starting pitcher, but I'm deeply concerned about a guy who's already 31 having continued to have an amazing career. Maybe I do want prospects. Yeah, let's just go prospect and see what that comes back with. I'd rather get a great prospect that might turn to something special than pay a bunch of money for somebody who might not. Mr. Kwan is tempting. He's got potential for good average and good power. 
That's a maybe. Not who. You're a dumpster fire with second baseman, but I'll be damned if you're not an amazing hitter. Potentially. You're inherently more valuable. Because you do have that really high ceiling. I mean, you're a fantastic prospect. There is no way in hell you'd give him to me. Nor should you. I'd love to get Huang. Again, I don't think you're going to go for that. You have so many starting pitchers. Like, give me a break here. Um, Young Ha Choi is kind of boring. I can make this work. That's fine. Um, okay, so everybody else has been given an opportunity. Um, we need to add two big foreigners. I don't know what positions I want yet, but that's really what I would like to add. Um, do note for the record, we have some really great young players that just need to develop a little bit more. Seong Ho Kim could be a good fit as well. Let us celebrate with the advancing of time to determine uh, what, if anything, else we need to do. Hmm. Chase O2. It's like his name should have been O'Toole and they just got lazy and left off the letters. Maybe that is what they're going for. I don't know. All the contracts signed. Amazing. Truly legendary. Still a few more. Need to think about it. Which I completely am on board with. I don't mind that at all. Years. Uh, Mr. G who Kim won his second consecutive Great Glove Award. That's amazing. Or Glove Wizard, whatever the fuck they call it. Nobody else on my team won one, but honestly, they didn't deserve it. Um, and he had a great season, so I'm, I'm pleased about that. Reliever of the year. Might be Felipe again. Or maybe not. Maybe it isn't Felipe. Who got reliever of the year? I demand to know. Oh, Felipe wasn't even considered. I mean, to be fair, Dong Hyuk Kim had an amazing season. Like, he was a fantastic pitcher. So I get it, but that does annoy me slightly. Like, he didn't even get a third place set, which just seems weird to me. Uh, no NC Dinos here. Sad. Really? I mean... Omen, no. Was not far off of being as good as Hyun Jun Kim, but there we are. Uh, newcomer of the year, not even close. To be fair, that's reasonable. We didn't really have uh, a newcomer of much note. I mean, I got manager of the year again. That's fun. I enjoy that. Um, none of my pitchers were even considered for pitcher of the year. That's fair. Very close vote, though.
Kim was by far the better pitcher. This should not have been close. Kim should have easily won. He should have gotten all the first place votes. Mm, actually, it is closer than I thought. He led the league in innings pitched in strikeouts. That's actually really valuable, too. Damn, I'd love to have one of those guys on my team. We need that big game pitcher to take us over the hump. Eh, no got some votes, as did Cho and Davidson. So there we go. That's fun. That's fun. I'm a little bummed out that we didn't get more hardware, but it is what it is. We need one of these young rookies to step in to an important position and then dominate. That's what we need. That is what this team has been missing, is an elite player who can just take the team over. All right. We've got to get a hitter and ideally a starting pitcher. So let's freaking go. Starting pitchers. Yanni Chirinos was a maybe, but I'm not... I am only whelmed with him. I am not overwhelmed. I'd rather get a pitcher that's got a little bit more capabilities uh, to throw good. I like Bobby Cook a little bit more. Bobby Cook is... A good all-around pitcher who has practice pitching in. Yes, let's grab Bobby Cook. Give that man a contract. And then let's look at all batters. And I want to focus, strictly speaking... What? Yeah, not that impressive. Uh, Nico Horner. Not that impressive. Hmm. I want me an elite hitter. That is my goal. Ideally, somebody hits for a ton of power. But it doesn't have to be that. Mark Vientos would be perfect. But I've got a sneaking suspicion. Oh, he will sign. Mr. Vientos, what about a three-year deal? Like, here's what he does. He's good at everything. He hits at every conceivable way you could want. I think that's amazing. I think he was, he's going to be a star in the KBO. So we're gonna we're gonna figure that part out real quick. Uh, he does have to deactivate. That's accurate. I did not look at any Korean players. That's an important thing to check on too. Give me the KBO filter, my guys. Default. All players. I mean, Hyung Jun So would be an excellent addition to this rotation. I don't know why he didn't get signed, but frankly, KT's loss is my gain. I'm not going to hesitate for a fraction of a second. Come join us. He wants a fairly long deal. I am willing to go out on a limb for you and make it happen. Ji Hoon Choi can only hit. He cannot play the field. He's an expensive guy, but he is worth every cent, especially when he continues to develop. But I, I feel really good about a starting rotation if we get both of our free agent targets. 
If we get Vientos too to hook us up in the center of the lineup, that's gonna be genius. Absolutely genius. We need them big game players for us to finally secure our first championship. All right, Matt Davidson decided to retire. Good for you, my friend. Uh, you are a very valuable player. And I wish you all the best. We're going to throw our financial weight around if we can manage it. Uh, we got Cock, Cook, Bobby Cook, Bobbert, as he likes to be known. Um, and we will 100% consider extending him but only after we've gotten our actual year of pitching out of him you're close to offended by my offer how i gave you what you asked for like you are too good a player not to get a lot of money that i accept and i acknowledge but like don't act like I like shit on your head. Mm. And I will also give you, if you give me 150 innings, I'll give you another 100 grand. That's a lot of money. You want 608 a year. I will pay that if I get the team options. No, he, want, he wants the six straight years. $608,000 isn't that much. And he is a genuinely good talent. Like, don't tell him this, but I would actually pay up to a million a year for him. That's how much I want a big game pitcher. Viento signed, which is amazing. He's going to be a really valuable hitter. I love this for us. Hall of Fame voting time. Yay. I will both vote for Sung Boom Na. Like, it is comical that players with really great numbers aren't getting voted in for reasons I don't fully grasp. Like, truly, anybody with 70 or more wins should be in their Hall of Fame. Like, it shouldn't even be a question. Except, how quickly can we get the the tickets printed? I like him. I know his war isn't super great, but he's got had a really great career. Park bang, uh, that's four hundred home runs. That seems pretty good. There you go. Voted done. Done. Job's done. I don't think he's... Oh, he did sign with us. Okay. Great. 
I feel pretty amazing about that. This has actually been a very eventful offseason. We've really done some good, solid work in remaking the team and getting us some top-tier talent. And I think that's one of the hardest things to do in the KBO because it's naturally going to be a closed system. It's going to be unusual. How much did Freddie Tarnock get? Oh, he went back to the Boston Red Sox. He, I wasn't going to compete with him going to the major leagues. Um, if you want to be in the majors, then he was going to go there. That's fine. But anyway, um, yes. Because it's a closed system, which means once talent gets in, it rarely leaves the team. It just makes sense to make sure that you go hard when those elite players are available. There's no downside. Not even a little bit of one. Um, I feel pretty passionate about our chances here. Really? You fuckers will not vote anybody into the Hall of Fame. So I think part of the issue is there's not that many ballots. So, yeah, because these guys all should be in by now. You're being fucking weird, game. Fucking weird. Oh, I'm very sorry. I did not know that about Henry Kovaleski. I never even heard of Henry Kovaleski until right now. So, good on you, my guy. Good on you. By the way, it's not lost me that I've now blocked Choi once again, which seems to be the one thing I'm amazing at. I love that for us. We're just going to keep blocking Choi. Um, I, mean, I, I, I get it. Choi could play DH. Understood. But... I kind of want more. I think Choi's still a perfectly viable designated hitter. At least until some of our youngsters really start to kick it into higher gear. He does have that elite on base skill that managers like me love. Uh, a guy getting on base all the time is just really good. It is a good thing. Uh, Hoon John added more to his fastball, as did Yoon Dong Hu, Ho. He got better, you got better, everyone's getting better. We love that. Absolutely here for it. And I wonder how the incredibly short spring training for the KBO affects how the game is balanced. That's an intriguing question, and I don't know. Like, I don't know whether OTP has built the engine so they'll develop a little bit faster in spring training because they get fewer games. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, right. So all the super talented youngsters are getting on the spring training roster. It's going to be bonkers. It's going to be the most bonkers. All the players getting playing time. What? That seems good. Now we can call him up too. And him. All right, lineups. Uh, bench coach, here's your chance. Make good baseball decisions. I'm not super on board with this, but at least for spring training, I'll let it go. We're going to shift to a 6 a.m. rotation for spring training. No, we're going to sit with five. That's, the games are too short. So, So, Cook, Jung, Shin, and Lee. I can get behind that. Potentially...
What are you doing with Johnny Injured a lot? How do you remember his name? Who's the guy who gets fucking hurt every single season, like in record time? Or is he still injured and therefore not included? I do not remember his name at all. That's wild, isn't it? I definitely didn't trade him. I definitely did not trade him. So what the fuck happened to him? Maybe I did trade him. Because it wasn't Shin. Shin was actually durable last season. Who the fuck was that guy? Who was it? Shang Moku. What happened to him? Why is he not listed here? Oh, you made him into a reliever for reasons. Okay. Uh, cool story, guy. It's all about getting lots of people meaningful playing time. Getting them some reps and see if anybody breaks out. And we're just going to zim through all the games just to make sure nobody gets hurt. And then we will adjust. Hey, it's a fun news story. It's somebody new getting injured. I think this is a record for how long Ku has not been injured. Uh, very exciting. Okay. So we presently have 22 pitchers. We want 13, I think. I think 13 is the ideal number. So minors, minors, minors. Minor, minors, minors, minors. Three more gotta go. Um, shin to the minors. Joy to the minors and Han, no, not Han. Hyo to the minors. Because the 13 players, whoops, I needed 14. Actually, we're going to call a couple of people up because one player who's not staying on the roster is him. Let's get Wante Choi back and let's add Yoon Dong Hyo. We just had a 14, which is too many. So remember how I said you got to come back? I lied. I just think Jun Ho Lee is the odd man out. So there we go. Done. Let's nuke the staff and build it the way we want to build it. Murder it in the face. All right. Our very best pitcher is probably so. Or Bobby Cook. But I think it works best if we do so. Cook. 
Jung Shen And the question is, do we do Lee or do we give No, we're gonna do Lee. I'm not gonna bother with anybody else. Okay. Closer is on Hell Felipe. Comes in in the eighth inning, done. If we look at pitching ratings for our relief crew, I cannot but notice how good Do Yoon Kim is. I think putting Kim into a stopper kind of role would be really helpful. But for now, I will simply settle for Mr. Do Yoon to be a setup guy, seventh or later. Uh, Mr. Hyo, I think you're probably at this point in your career best suited to being a specialist with the odd middle relief inning. Juan Tae Choi just came off here where he threw 172 innings. That's an awful lot to give up for a pitcher that hasn't had a great career yet. But I do think it's warranted for now. So Juan Tae Choi is our emergency starter long reliever. If we need a starter, it's going to be Choi. I know I have like a giant man crush on Hoon Jung. I genuinely think he can handle the pressure of being a middle reliever that's used more often. Jimin Choi is just going to be a garden variety middle reliever. Plus his second row is going to be as our backup specialist. Our backup lefty killer. So both of y'all are just going to get middle relief jobs. And as the season progresses, we'll make our determinations from there. Um, so and Cook make our rotation significantly stronger. That's a really good look for us, and I enjoy that. Now I get down to 28. That means a lot of people need to go to the minor leagues. All right. Seong Ho Kim, you both go to the minors. Actually, all four of you go to the minors. It's usable with five outfielders. That's a perfectly fine number for now. We can live with that. I feel like I need one more season of Kim before I hand him the second base job. Oh, I don't need to. Here's the thing about Kim, he's already 21, which means he's getting to the point where if he's going to work out, he's going to work out. I think letting him start the season in the majors is earned. I feel pretty good about that. Let's set our lineups, because I'm not going to do what the AI wants me to do. That's ridiculous. Let's just casually fuck the team over. That sounds great. Uh, batting ratings. Our best overall hitter is Vientos. That is a no-brainer. Unless it's no. No, it's Vientos. We'll, we'll let him bat third. Seijin Cho bats second. And no bats fourth. Um, do we try Choi at second base again? I, I don't think we do. I guess he wasn't that awful to second base in last year. Maybe it's worth giving him another shot. But the thing is that 
No, he is better than Kim. He is absolutely better than Kim. Fine. The Zenly's DH open for G-Man Choi. And I do want to try that out. I want us to have this, this potential serious threat lower in the lineup. So I think Choi makes some sense to be our DH. Kim is going to be our third baseman. Uh, you're going to be our center fielder. A catcher and shortstop. That's going to be Kim as catcher. And other Kim as shortstop. We've gone from five Kims in the lineup to four. So progress is being made. I'm good with this. I'm pleased with the balance we're getting. And I think it's a solid line to start the season. A lot, obviously, a lot, a lot is riding on Vientas. I still think No is special. And I think he's going to keep producing at a high level, too. Uh, as is Cho. But it is important to rem uh, You know what we're going to do? I'm going to swap No and Cho. Because No is the better all-around hitter. And I want Cho's raw power lower in the lineup where you can do more damage. If Vientos is leaving people behind, I want Cho to pick him up. That's, that's just how it's going to be. And finish today... Um, people are hurt. Uh, Jung Hoon Kim is improving. Thank you. I like how Yoon Boon Kim is like a full time catcher. I mean, I a pitcher, I guess I'm okay at that, but I would like to see a little bit more. I don't love potential ratings dropping. That makes me sad. Makes me very sad. Can't I please see overall rating increase for the youngsters? That would be great. That would be truly special, but alas, we're not so fortunate. Uh, this little guy here is now the number nine prospect in the majors, so that's neat. Uh, how are we on time? I think we're going to end the episode here. Um, I think we've had a really good offseason. I think we've added three key contributors who could turn our fortunes around and finally get us into the promised land, earning our very first Korean series title. I truly believe that. But until next time, my friends, this has been App Guardian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.